हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज चिन्मय देशपांडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ टॉपिक फ्रॉम सॉल्यूशन ऑफ लिनियर साइमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन द टॉपिक इज गॉस जॉर्डन मेथड इन अ प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज गॉस एलिमिनेशन मेथड नाउ दिस इज अ डिफरेंट मेथड व्हिच इज यूज्ड टू सॉल्व लिनियर साइमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन इट यूजेस और दिस मेथड इज बेस्ड ऑन द आईडिया that reducing the given system of equation ax equal to b in a diagonal system of equation ix equal to d means we need to make this particular matrix like this 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 all diagonal elements are one all non diagonal elements will be zero so let us consider that let's say this will be the uh, format or this will be the last answer it will look like this 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 and whatever you will get this let's say z1 z2 z3 that will be the answer of x y z or x1 y1 z1 now let us consider this z1 equal to u v equal to z2 and w equal to z3 will be the solution of given set of a equation so in a short way you can define gauss jordan method is nothing but a b if you apply a gauss jordan method then you will get i into x where x is the value i is nothing but this will be your identity matrix 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 now if you go through the process it is same as that of your gauss elimination method the first step is same as that of your gauss elimination method and here we are going to use row transformation method in a second step we make above and below elements of a pi weights as a zero by using row transformation for example suppose this will be one so with the help of this element we will make these two elements are zero after that we need to make this element as a one with the help of which we will be making these two uh, uh, terms will be zero and last will be this will be your one and with the help of this we will be making these two terms as a zero so let us consider we have a equation a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus a13 x3 equal to b1 a21 x1 plus a22 x2 plus a23 x3 equal to b2 a31 x1 plus a32 x2 plus a33 x3 equal to b3 so we can represent this above equation let us consider this as a equation number 1 in a matrix form as this will be your coefficient matrix that is a this will be your uh, unknown variable matrix uh, x1 x2 x3 and this is nothing but b1 b2 b3 will be your constant matrix so already we have seen the seen that how to represent this matrix into augmented format so this will be a augmented matrix format from a given equation now first step what we have to do here we need to make this element as a one so it will be done by dividing that element by that element itself R1 upon A11, so you will get here one. For simplicity, instead of writing here A12 upon A11, to this I am going to write it as A12 dash. Then for A13 upon A11, we will be writing it as A13 dash. And for B1 upon A11, we will be writing it as a B1 dash. Rest of the two rows, that is R2 and R3, we have to write it as it is. Now next is. again this same uh, this step is similar to that of your gauss elimination method wherein we are going to make these two elements zero by taking help of this element so we will be writing it as we need to make which element zero r2 this is your r2 with the help of your r1 element here is plus a21 so here you have to write it as minus a21 similarly r3 will be equal to r3 here it will be r1 so here you will get minus uh, a31 so we will be doing it up to this step we will get this uh, matrix after that we have to make this element as one by dividing that element by itself only so it will be r2 upon a22 dash so we will get this this particular matrix now with the help of this element which we have made one in a previous statement or previous step we need to make these two elements are zero so how to write i want to make r1 element as a zero with the help of r2 here is a dash 1 2 so here we have to write a 1 2 dash minus a 1 2 dash again we need to make this element zero r3 so i'll be writing as r3 will be equal to r3 
we have to take a help of R2. So here we will get minus A32 dash. So by doing these, we will get this particular equation. Now next is what? Next we have to make this element as a 1 by dividing that R3. This will be your row R3 by itself that element. So we will get this as a 1. And now by using this 1, we have to make these two elements as a 0. So I am writing it as we need to change it in R1. So R1 equal to R1. We have to take a help of R3. So here it will be minus A13 dash. A13 double dash here. Okay. And here it is double dash. Please see it carefully. There is a printing mistake. R2 will be equal to what? R2 will be equal to R2 here. With the help of R3 we have to make it 0. So here it is plus A23 double dash. So here it will be minus A23 double dash. So we will get this matrix. So if you see as we discussed earlier, what is gauss jordan method? We need to convert this AB into IX. So we will get this step here. So what you got here? What is the value? Let me see here. What is the value of X1? So X1 will be equal to B1 triple dash. What is the value of X2? X2 will be equal to B2 triple dash. What is the value of X3? It will be equal to B3 triple dash. So here, no need to have any kind of back substitution. You will directly get the answer of X1, X2 and X3. Back substitution is to be done only in case of a Gauss elimination method. Now the question might be asked for oral examination. What is the difference between Gauss elimination and Gauss Jordan method? So here if you see, in case of Gauss elimination method, we have to uh, perform row transformation in such a way that we will get upper triangular matrix like this. Whereas in case of Gauss Jordan method, we need to make uh, all elements, diagonal elements as 1 and all non-diagonal elements as a 0. So this is for Gauss elimination, this is for Gauss Jordan. Both the methods are direct method. Here in case of Gauss elimination method, but obviously we have to do a back substitution process in order to find it out value of x1, x2, x3. But in a Gauss Jordan method, there is no need to have a back substitution method. We will get directly answer of x1, x2 and x3. So this is what is the method which is Gauss Jordan method. In the next video lecture, we will be discussing about how to solve a numerical based on Gauss Jordan method. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt, please feel free to ask any questions. Thank you.